Hello and welcome to the brief history of a rock band, one of the more modern rock bands called the Black Keys. Oh boy, I'm along with the home. Yeah, so this brief history begins in 2001 when Dan Auerbach, a guitarist and singer, quits college. He had the chance to connect with his old friend Patrick. He had two other members invited to show up to a jam session. The two other bandmates did not show up, and that day, the Black Keys were born, and history was made. The first album that they even did was an album called The Big Come Up, which was an album which I am not too big of a fan of, mostly because of the poor production quality. Oh, and that's because they recorded um, it in a uh, basement of drummer Patrick Carney's house. Yeah, so... <laughs> It's nice you guys went into the studio on later recordings, but earlier stuff, not so much. Then it's less than one year later, we got the album Thick Freakness. They toured to promote the album. They played tons of shows to promote their great work, even though, once again, the album had poor production. So, the next thing they did was a year and a half later, they make another album, and they call it... Rubber Factory. They recorded it at an old tire factory. They also... <laughs> they also... Around the side did a concert called... Live at the Metro Theater in Sydney, Australia. So, I did not release an album in 2005 because of how busy they were getting, but what they did do was make an EP called Chula Helma. Yeah. I, I was just changing my clothes during this video, pardon me. Yeah, so, a few days late, a few, the next year, we got an album entitled Magic Potion. It was their fourth studio album. They did a live EP, which was featured as a bonus CD in a 
in a version of Mojo Magazine. Yep. The next thing that they did was this album called Attack of My Lies. It was released on April Fool's Day, 2008. A few days later, on April 4th, they played what, in my opinion, is one of their best shows. It's called Live at the Crystal Ballroom. It was later released on the home video, just like the Metro Theater one. So, yeah. The next thing they did, they released the concert DVD in late 2008. You want to know what the next thing they actually did was? Trying to get famous. That's the next thing they did. Trying to get famous. Yeah. So, they headed to Alabama to record um, uh, their sixth studio album called Brothers. Brothers was released on May 18th, 2010. And it was several people's record of the year. In fact, it won an album of the year Grammy Award. The guys finally made it to the big time. The guys took home three Grammys at the 2011 Awards. Later that same year, they made a very surprising return with yet another enjoyable album by the name of El Camino. Yeah, so El Camino, their seventh studio album, once again. Yeah, so at the 2013 Grammys, they really didn't leave the stage. Dan Auerbach won something with Dr. John, yep, and then directly after that, the Black Keys won like 10,000 Grammys. And Dowerback won Producer of the Year uh, during the last few minutes of the night. The next thing they did on March. On uh, March 21st or 24th, it's one of those dates, they announced a new album on Mike Tyson's Twitter account. The album will be called Turn Blue. The album was ex an experimental change for the Black Keys. They had it out on tour to promote it. It was also their first number one album, beating out people like Michael Jackson and Dolly Parton. They played shows to promote Turn Blue, and then in August of 2015, Dan Auerbach was like, Oh, hey guys, let's just take a break for a few years. And that they did. During that time, Dan Auerbach founded the record label that's actually on my serve right now. Easy Eye Sound in Nashville, Tennessee. That is a record label. Dan returned with a solo album. 
and plus the follow-up to the 2009 album, Keep It Head. It was totally better than the previous release. September of 2018, the Black Keys reunited. Dan and Patrick reunited at Easy Sound Studios in early September of 2018. And that was a surprise to all the fans. And you want to know what? On March 7th, 2019. I actually found this out during a call with my dad, but you want to know who came up with a new song that day? The Blackies. The song was called Low High. They announced the tour the next week. A month and a half later, they dropped the happily titled Eagle Birds, and along with that song came something that I totally was not expecting, something called an album announcement. The guys released an album announcement for an album titled Let's Rock. The guys also had some exclusive pink vinyl and a t-shirt going on for the album. They also had a new single out around Mid May, I think it is, but the song was titled Go with like one of these shorter songs with like one of the longest music videos ever. Like, the song's like nearly two and a half minutes long. And listen to this one, y'all. The music video is nearly five minutes and 15 seconds long. The Blackies are officially doing something different. In September, chaos hits. They played a show at the World Turn Theater. Several people realized their tickets were fake, and plenty of them decided to give up and go home. The Let's Rock tour will be from September 2019 to November 2019. They announced another tour, which never happened because of the pandemic. Me and my dad were talking about seeing both Daryl Hall and John Oates and the Black Keys in Boston, which we might see Hall and Oates when they come back to Boston next month, but it's not a definite. Yeah, so next, next we get an album called... Next... They announce the Brothers re-release with a very interesting promo video. Let's start off with the guy being hit by a car. The teenage guy was texting in the middle of the street and then he got hit by a car, unfortunately. Yep. And then several moments later, he wakes up 
10 years later in Oklahoma, and the brother's anniversary gets in, is actually surrounding him, and he's like, brothers, and then he's, the doctor's like, wait, what? And then he's like, brothers, the anniversary of this, and then, then he hands it to the guy who just got out of his coma, and then he's like, wait, it's ten years since this album was released? Yeah, and then he, then there's, was like, oh, who's the, and then the person who wakes up is like, oh, who's the person? <laughs> And then the nurses like of the fan club, Lovely Boy 420. And then he's like, no, 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 the president in general, he just didn't want to answer that. That and that. And Mr. Guy Who Woke Up in a Coma, I don't know if you're watching this. But I would like to offer you the real answer. Donald John Trump was the president when you woke up. And man was he bad. Next. They released it on December 18th. When I got my copy, it was Christmas Eve. And Stephen... And we had Christmas early, if you don't remember. Stephen was like, oh, it's from Dan and Pat. And then I'm like, uh, Dan and Pat don't even know me. And then I saw where he was going. Yes, yeah, so the next thing that happened was an announcement of a new album on my birthday actually they released a single on not just my birthday but also Patrick Carney's birthday yeah they announced the new album Delta Cream on April 15th 2021 and I got the autographed version. They're my signatures from uh, Dan and Patrick. Uh, 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 well, uh, well, 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 well. Don't know if you can see that, but their signatures are actually there. And I also got the purple haze vinyl with this one. And the CD I I had to pre-order that off Amazon because for some odd reason my bundle did not come with the CD. I don't know why they decided that, which, Dan and Pat, if you guys are watching, please do let me know why you decided that. Yeah, so, the next thing. And that's about it. Except for that little bit of a pre-recorded concert they did, which... They release videos from which they which Spotify had a special on. I was watching the show, I was midway through the show, and I was kicked out of the event. Whose idea was that? Next. So I'll see you guys in the next video.